A recent report by Global Food Waste Not Want Not suggested that up to 50% of the world's food supply is wasted. In Europe, up to 30% of the vegetables we grow aren't even picked from the ground because of what they look like. The truth is we waste way too much food. So we spoke to some dumpster divers who use dumpster diving to educate the public about just how much waste goes on. Here is our interview with wastecooking.com. Yeah, keep some in those, yeah? Ich würde sagen, wir fangen einmal mit den Biotonnen an. Our mission is to raise awareness for this very specific topic, food waste. And we decided to do this in a, a creative kind of way. Our mission is not to point out whose fault it is. We just want to raise awareness in a creative, a bit funny way. And so we decided to create a cooking show that uses food waste to cook with. Thank you, Shannon. Mm -hmm. Usually we're doing that in public spaces and we're feeding um, whatever we cook to people that pass by or that come join us. We are filming uh, what we're doing and we're putting it online. All the food we cook with, we find in trash cans of supermarkets. But the night before the event, we're going out, we're finding supermarkets, we're looking through their trash, we're taking out whatever we uh, can find and, and decide that that is usable. And uh, we cook with these ingredients the next day. So people get fed actual trash. Lebensmittel, was produziert werden vom Erzeuger bis zum Verbraucher, also die ganzen Zwischenhändler, ne? überall wird was weggeschmissen, dann finde ich das einfach pervers. Also dann finde ich das pervers. For the older generation, the throwing away of food is something totally forbidden, because they still grew up with probably a lack of availability of uh, food and ingredients. You understand waste? Mm -hmm. Yep. So trash. So trash mm -hmm. from the garbage bins. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. And very young people are um, are also shocked because for them this is a normality. This is reality that there is too much. So the thought of eating something that has been thrown away is very revolting for them. Yeah. 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 We have nämlich alle Zutaten zu unseren Speisen am Vorabend aus dem Müll geholt. Make it too, too. <laughs> Dumpster diving as such is, is not new. I keep meeting people that, that uh, did that in the 70s already. I think it is a movement that you find all over the globe, more or less. It's a very organized movement. People meet online uh, and coordinate these actions in forums and, and online platforms. So as such, it is a movement that is growing. Um, of course, the state is reacting. Um, in, in some parts of Europe, it's less legal. In other parts, it's more legal. For many people, it's a way of life. The way of life, though, is to shop as little as possible and to dumpster dive as much as possible. And it's Käse fondue. Käse fondue. <laughs> Certain things you will find quite often, such as bread and, and fruits and cheese and vegetables, and other, th other things you will find much less, such as uh, pulses or oils or whatever else you might need in a household. Dumpster divers are coordinated in a way that they meet after the, the diving session, so they can exchange. If one person found lots of bread and the other person found lots of veggies, you, could, you would meet and you would exchange because you need to find a good mix of things to, sh to shop as little as possible, uh, but still have a proper diet and, have a, and, and be able to cook properly. Do check the legality of this in your country before you go running to a bin to get food from it because the legality of this is different from country to country. Perhaps if you're frustrated by that, let us know if you think the laws should be changed.